Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be practicing application questions for maximum and minimum values. Okay guys, so we're going to be given a word problem and in that word problem the main four steps are usually very simple. The first one being where we make two equations. It's going to give us a statement and we have to analyze it and make two equations based off of it. And then the second part is you can usually substitute something into the second equation that you make. So substitution can occur after or before, like it doesn't have to be in order, but these steps are should be um, used in the question. Okay, and then after, when you substitute it, you take the derivative of the function. You substituted it already, and that's when you'll take the derivative after. And in step four, you just make the derivative equal to zero and you solve for your whatever variable. Okay guys, so here's our first example. And in this one, the question is asking, find two numbers whose difference is 150 and whose product is a minimum. So first off, you can definitely uh, make the first equation and that could be x minus y equals 150. Two numbers whose difference is 150. You don't know those two numbers, so you can use any variable. You can use x, y, a, b, c, or anything. So I'll just use x and y. And two numbers whose difference is 150. So first equation would be x minus y equals 150. And whose product is a minimum. The second equation could be x times y equals f of x. You don't know the value of the minimum, so you can just write the product equation. x times y equals f of x. Okay, I'll write those out and then I'll show you how you can substitute it. Okay guys, so now that I've wrote it out, I think you could easily tell where you can substitute it. But first, what you want to do is rearrange this equation so that you can plug either the x or the y into this equation. So to rearrange this, the only logical thing to do would be to move y, because if you move x, you would be left with a negative y. So instead, just move y and turn it positive. So this would equal to x equals 150 plus y. That would be your new rearranged equation, and you could directly substitute that for x. So I'll write it out so you can visualize it. Okay, guys, so after rearranging, it looks something like this. x equals 150 over y. Now that you have the value for x, just directly substitute this. When you substitute it, it's just going to be in brackets, 150 plus y times y equals f of x. Okay, guys, here um, I just substituted the x value into here. And it's 150 plus y times y equals f of x. Now the next step before taking the derivative is just expand the y so it's easier to take the derivative of this. So when you expand the y, you'll be left with 150y plus y squared equals f of x. Now the next step is the derivative. And it's simple power rule as I've taught in my, base, my videos before. So it's just going to be 2y plus 150 equals f prime of x. Okay guys, so here I've uh, wrote the derivative f prime of x equals 2y plus 150, okay? Now that we have our derivative, derivative, we're going to set it equal to 0. So here it's going to be 0 equals 2y plus 150. Now, as I said before, you're going to use algebra to solve for y. So you're just going to move around 150 and then divide it by 2 like right here. And then we found the value of y to be negative 75. Okay, so you have one of the numbers whose difference is 150, okay? You have one of them. Now you need to find the second number, which is x. And you can do that by plugging 75 into, into this equation, okay? I'll write it out. Okay, guys, so here I just plugged the y value into this equation, this one. And here it's x minus negative 75. You know that when negatives multiply, it'll result in a positive. So we have our equation x plus 75 equals 150. Now to find x, just move 75 to the other side and minus, and you get your x value as 75. So the two numbers whose difference is 150 and product is a minimum is negative 75 and positive 75. So you have both numbers, therefore the question is solved.
Okay guys, I'm going to keep today's video very short because tomorrow I want to go over some harder examples. Uh, I only did one example in this video and that was a really easy one. So tomorrow I'll be going over perimeter and area questions. So yeah, that's it for today. See you guys next time. Bye.